Okay, gear and guide. Gear and guide. This is gonna be on the YouTube gear and guide for 8.2. Um, why am I making a gear and guide? Because gear and will be my second champion after Teemo that I'll be maining. Stop the queue here. Okay, so first I start with the Doron Shield. Almost every single game. Almost every single game I, I start with the Doron Shield. I don't think I start with anything other than Doron Shield. And my first item be becomes a Phage. I guess, yeah, I'll put it here. Phage. And uh, um, I finish my Ninja Tabai or Mercury Treads depending on the match. Alright, Mercury Treads or Ninja Tabai depending on the match. Just like kinda like a Teemo. And then I finish my Black Cliver. After Black Cliver, I work on a um, Deadman's Plate. I guess a build order guy goes like this. Build order. And it's kind of like this. Yeah. Sterex Gauge next. If you can build a Sterex Gauge, what I mean is that by the time that you have a Deadman's Plate, are you, are you tanky enough to withstand their damage? If you are, if you are tanky enough to withstand their damage and you think you can just get more damage, then go Sterx Gauge. If not, then you gotta build whatever that you, you're needed of. If you, you need more armor, then you gotta get Randwin or Visage. By the way, it's either Randwin or the Thormail for the choices. So when do you get a Randwin versus when do you get a Thormail? Um, it's depending on what kind of ADC that they have. If they have a Kog'Maw, Varus, who doesn't grab the crit items, then you can go with Thormail. But if they do have a crit item champion ADC wise, like uh, Bane, Caitlyn, you know, Jinx, those kind of stuff, Saya, then I recommend a Randwin. It's depending on if they have a crit or not. Uh, so that's the build. That's pretty much the, the only build that I do that I really, really enjoy playing it right now. But runes though, there's about three choices for runes. Um, I don't really know when to grab which rune in exactly what situation. But here, here's the first rune that I like the most, is a face rush. Um, I get a face rush, ultimate head. You can get an ultimate head or a notifying or depending on what you like. It's really, it doesn't really matter too much, I guess. I guess if you're facing an API dealer, you can get a nullifying orb. Um, Celerity second for move speed, and Gathering Stone for late game damage, and Resolve second win plus conditioning is a must. A phase rush, the way that phase rush work it for the Garen is that you have to land auto Q and then spin, or Q auto and then spin. Then phase rush works as you're spinning in, spinning out, that kind of stuff. Um, and the uh, second page that I enjoy the most is a Glacial Augment. Um, glacial Augment, Hexec Flash, Magical Footwear, Approach Velocity, and Conditioning Second Wind. These are resolved. It's secondary will be always resolved. Um, so how does this work? As you Q or auto tag onto the enemy, it slows them down by like 40% from the uh, Glacial Augment passive. Uh, yeah. And then you also get an approach velocity into that, you get 10% more move speed. So it's like, it's really, really, really good. Especially for the gank setup, it's really good. But why do I go face rush more than glacial augment? Because face rush provides more, it's better for the late game. I think glacial augment is better for the early game. Yeah, early game, laning phase, it's good for like setups and pickups in the uh, skirmishes, it's good. But the uh, Phase Rush provides you, unlike this, Phase Rush provides you the um, the slow resistances for 75% and it gives you 15 to 40 move speed. It's really good for late game. Even for the early game, it's pretty good too. That's why I, I like Phase Rush a little bit more. And the last choice is the one that I have came up with, is that un Unseal Spellbook with the um, Cosmic Insight. Yeah, Unseal Spellbook, Cosmic Insight. I get a Ghost Flash on a Garen. And I basically use a Ghost a lot in the late game. Yeah. Even in the early game. It's either Ghost or Teleport, I can just use it. Or sometimes Ignite, Exhaust, whichever they like. But it's a little too gimmicky. 
little too gimmicky yet if I were to play in the Lord here like let's say I'm, I'm currently at a diamond 5 by just playing Garen in a flax queue but let's say if I'm playing a bronze account then I'd go with Unseal's Pebble something that is like really easy that I need to just carry the game I go with the Unseal's Pebble yeah but if the game is like a balanced game your team is good, their team is good, you know, I don't have to carry, I can just act as like a 1 guy or 1.2 maybe, then face rush is probably the best. That's how I think about the runes and the items about the Garen. So far, I've been playing a lot with the Garen. Yeah, doing these wheels. Ghostblade is an option, but it's a little too squishy in my taste yeah so I don't really like the ghost blade but you can go if you want that's about the Garen guide for 8.2